Hey guys, welcome back to the Baby Dude channel. Thanks for tuning in. As you can see, we're working on the Mini Cooper again. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so if you clicked on today's video, you know what we're here to do. My car is a 2007 Mini Cooper S. It's right in kind of in the middle of when cars really didn't come with USB ports, and that's exactly what I want to address today. If you clicked on this video, you're probably on a Mini Cooper or you're thinking about owning one, and this is a great modification. If you don't have a lot of money, you don't want to spend a lot, but it's very highly impactful, and I think you guys are going to like it. A few weeks ago, uh, one of the guys that I watched on YouTube, Calvin's Garage, he did a modification on his two, Nissan 240SX that I thought was pretty clever. Instead of using the cigarette lighter in the normal manner that we normally use them in, which is use the cigarette lighter as a charging port for your USB devices, your tablets, or your phones, the plugs that go into those are pretty cumbersome. And they always seem to come out or either burn out. And they just don't work properly. He went ahead and found something pretty awesome on Amazon or it might have been eBay and it actually takes the place of your cigarette lighter. Now, I didn't want to copy his completely, but the one that I picked up was very, very quirky and kind of fun, and it, it, it matches the Mini Cooper's personality, so let me show you what I got. So what I have here is a cigarette lighter replacement. Uh, it is made of billet aluminum, and I chose the red one because it seemed just to have the nice quirkiness that kind of matches the Mini Cooper. Uh, it goes in place of your cigarette lighter, which means you actually have to pull your entire assembly out. Now, that's probably the most difficult part of this whole installation, but I wanted to make this video and show you guys what I did. You actually don't need to pull the center console out. I did mine, but you don't necessarily need to do that. Um, my cigarette light was kind of loose to begin with, but uh, technically you can just uh, rotate it to the left and it should pop uh, out. There's this uh, section right here with these uh, markings on it. Kind of lines up with the hole here. So um, we got uh, the positive and we have the ground. Uh, brown being the ground and the red being the positive. Um, that is constant power with the ignition on. So this is a great source, uh, ignition source of uh, power. So what we'll be doing is we'll be using the provided connectors that the little kit came with. Um, and uh, we will be replacing this unit all together and putting in the new unit. I know I'm, I know I'm holding. Okay, so with the cigarette lighter um, out of here, um, we have the, uh, the new unit here. Uh, unfortunately, diameter of this is slightly larger than this area. Uh, that's okay because this section is uh, circular and it's plastic. Um, and it actually will fit inside this rim that's already here. So um, we have a couple options. I can use a Dremel tool and Dremel that out up to the outer edge, which is probably what I'll do. Um, you could also use maybe a plastic welder, maybe a soldering iron, just melt out uh, that outer ring. But uh, since I have access to a Dremel tool I, with a Durling uh, fitting on it, I'll be using that since it's going to be the least invasive um, on this material here. So uh, we're going to get that uh, so that we can install this uh, without an issue. Holding on to this. Holding on. So now that we have that uh, dremeled out to um, basically to spec what we need it, um, this should fit pretty snug. I don't really think that, um, well, uh, I might leave this on here for now. Um, this little cover kind of looks like it gets just gets in the way, but um, for now it'll probably keep like 
things and debris out of it so I'll keep it on there for now but um, as you can see this area looks like it was kind of meant for it uh, it's kind of cool because um, I can actually almost use the threading on here without using the backing that was actually designed to um, be used on this it actually came with its own um, plastic nut to basically bolt it down to the back of it kind of sandwich it between two pieces of plastic so um, I'm pretty thrilled with this so um, let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like on here and as you can see I'm I'm threading it on right now it's actually allowing me to twist it on here so I uh, have a fair bit of distance to go before I'm completely done with it but you guys get the idea so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the connections uh, that it was that were provided with this and um, let's see if I can finish this up all right so scratch that we're basically just going to uh, modify um, this stock connector here uh, I believe there's a way to kind of remove um, the clips uh, so that you can get these connectors out because these connectors uh, conveniently enough uh, fit right onto here so uh, that'll be nice and I'll be able to connect it kind of like factory it just needs to uh, separate these uh, from each other I was able to force this out of here which means that we have these things separated which is a good thing because we can now connect this to uh, the cigarette lighter fairly easy so uh, let's go ahead and get this screwed down into position and we will finish this up. So now, last but not least, we have to connect the red wire to, well, you can't see it under there, but believe me, it's there. But the red wire goes to the goldish brass looking connection on the bottom of the uh, USB charger. And the ground goes to the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and connect that and we should be able to bolt everything back and finish this mod up. Fast forward a year or two, friends have changed, but so can you. So can you Alright guys, as you can see we have it installed and it looks excellent. Uh, it looks uh, almost factory. Um, kind of really quirky and, and it pops with the colors, kind of matches my uh, side mirrors here so I'm um, pretty thrilled about that so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on for the first time let's get the key in the ignition should uh, power up with ignition power there we have it and we have a green light which means we have power so um, that's good news guys we'll go ahead and call that a win so um, I will leave all these parts um, well this uh, item down in the description down below you guys can also find it on my website if you wanted to install it for yourselves. Hopefully I inspire one of you guys to uh, do this modification for yourself. It's way too simple not to try it. I think it took me about 20 minutes with filming uh, to actually do this for you guys and do it for myself. So um, all in all, this modification cost me a grand total of about $10. And you no longer ever have to look and search for your cigarette lighter USB adapter ever again. It doesn't have to protrude. And all you ever need to make sure you have is a cable. So, uh, thank you guys for watching the BMW channel. Hopefully this inspired one of you guys to try for yourselves. Um, really appreciate all the growth that the channel has had recently. We just recently hit 2,400 subscribers. And that's all thanks to you guys. So, make sure you go down to the comment section down below. Leave me a comment. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit that alert button so you can be alerted every time I upload a video. So, guys, thank you guys for watching. And as always, peace out. And Godspeed, guys.